going on traders? Keel Stokes here. Welcome to another uh, live Forex trading blog. Typically, I do this on Periscope. Um, but I wanted to give it a try on Facebook. I've been getting a lot of new Facebook followers. So I um, wanted to give it a try on here. And of course, I will upload this to YouTube later so you guys can see it along with a few extra graphics of what I'm going to talk about. But in today's live trading blog, I kind of want to talk about just the mentality of trading. If you checked on my Facebook page earlier today, um, I put up a picture of, you, you guys have probably seen it before, and of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, it should be up somewhere on the screen, but that strolling cat, the cat walking with a lot of confidence, and the caption says, today is your day. And you know, for the post, I said, despite the previous day's results, I walk into each trading day with the same amount of confidence, both in myself and in my system, how about you give it a try? And it's that type of confidence and really short memory that you need if you want to be a successful trader. I got up early this morning and I started doing the, the prep work for today's live Q&A session with my 12-week transformation members and I also started crunching the syndicate stat numbers and I saw that we had a horrible week last week. I don't know why this thing keeps messing up here, but we had a horrible week last week in the syndicate. In fact, we've been on a drawdown for about the last four weeks, ever since the, the U.S. elections. And the first thought that went through my head is that as a, as a younger trader, when I would get weeks like this, I would typically go right into revenge trading mode. I would say, oh man, I, I just lost this much in my account. I've got to make it back on the next trade. And I would go out there, I'd start hunting for that perfect trading opportunity. Maybe I would rush into a trade I'm not supposed to be in. Maybe I do find a trade that does meet my rules and I end up taking it and really sabotaging myself for um, either by not having my stop loss in the right place or trying to get more out of the trade than I'm supposed to. And typically it always ends in disaster. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the right way to pull yourself out of a drawdown. And the right way is small, steady steps. You can't go into the market thinking that you're going to make it all back in one day. Typically, if you try to do that, you're going to lose more and send yourself into a deeper drawdown. The only goal should be to have a short memory about what happened last week or the day before, whatever it is. Stroll into the market like that confident cat trust your plan, trust yourself, and conduct business as usual. Meaning you look for the same type of trading opportunities, you look to get the same thing out of it, do nothing differently, and trust in your system that if you're following your plan, if you're trading the right way, you're gonna slowly enter yourself out of that drawdown. Um, and that's what today's lesson is. Hey, what's going on guys? Um, and again, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I'll show you the equity curve, but I was a little bit surprising. Um, again, I don't, I don't really follow statistics too much. I, I kind of know where, what I'm at as a trader. Um, I try to just focus on the process, not the outcome. But again, we've had a massive dip. Again, since the U.S. elections, we've taken the worst drawdown um, of the year. We're at, we're at, it's a pretty, pretty big drawdown. Now, we're still in good territory overall. Um, we're still going to be profitable for the year, knock on wood, in case something, unless something drastic happens in the next few weeks. But honestly speaking, we're not where we want to be with our trading as, as far as our results. Uh, we don't have set goals as far as um, a specific return on investment goal or a specific PIP goal. But there's a range that we like to be in that will tell us whether we're on track with our trading. And right now, we're at the very low end of that range. So we still have a few weeks left. We're going to see if we can pick things up. Charles got off to a good start today. He locked in about 100 pips so far this morning, which is good. Um, we're going to see if we can start slowly digging ourselves out of that hole um, throughout the remainder of the week. It is a non-farm payroll week, so it's eh, things are going to get a little bit dicey. But like I mentioned earlier, the only goal is to come in, trade the plan, try to find good trades, um, execute good trades, and then find that next good trade and, and trust that the process is going to land you where you want to be. So a little message today about drawdowns and how to handle them. Again, the key thing I wanted you to get is don't try to make it back at once. It's just like a, a sports team, right? If you're a basketball player, a basketball team, and you go down by 20 points at halftime, right? There's no 20-point shot, right? You can't send in a half-court shot and get 20 points. You've got to inch your way back, two-pointer here, three-pointer here, good defense, right? You can do any sport, soccer, football, baseball, right? Just slowly work your way back. And before you know it, you may have uh, 
dug yourself out of that drawdown and gone on to see new equity highs. We've done it before. We do it every year. We will do it again. So thank you guys for joining me. Again, you can check this video out on YouTube where I'll show you a look at the equity curve as far as that little cat meme, I guess it is. Uh, these videos, the Forex trading blog videos go on my personal YouTube account, the uh, Akil Stokes YouTube account. If you're looking for more trading related videos, if you're brand new, head over to Trade Empowered FX on, on the YouTube page and that's where you see our Forex market preview videos and more videos with me actually doing technical analysis in the market. And of course, head over to TradeEmpowered.com. Make sure you take in all of the free training we have over there. I recommend Into the Gray. That's always a, a good one to watch. So until next time, traders, plan your trade, trade your plan. Good luck in the markets this week.